right where I'm standing. This was a big fence with seven different brick pillars, but now as you can see, it's a big mess and all there is is a lot of debris like this. If it wasn't for those posts, I would guarantee you that vehicle would have been sitting in my living room right now. Irfan Korkmaz is talking about seven brick posts like these now obliterated in his front yard. Metro officers say a man driving a Mustang lost control, followed these tracks off of the roadway and into Korkmaz yard. The car hit the posts so hard, bricks and wood launched directly at Korkmaz home, puncturing windows and putting holes in his walls. It was like an explosion, that's for sure. But the path of destruction didn't stop there. That Mustang kept going until it hit Korkmaz Mini Cooper that was parked in his driveway, totaling the Mini. Korkmaz was pretty calm about the damage. He says everything can be fixed. He considers himself lucky, however, that he was asleep and not outside when this happened. It just makes you wonder, you know, what if I was just parked my car? Based on the extensive damage and his background as a driver, Korkmaz believes this driver was going much faster than the 35 mile per hour speed limit. I would say at least it was 80, 85, 90 miles an hour. The driver is in the hospital in critical condition. Officers believe impairment was a factor in this crash. It just shows you how delicate is your life is. A lot of cleanup ahead for this homeowner here in the South Valley. Meantime, Metro is still investigating the cause of this crash. Reporting live in the South Valley, Max Darrow, News 3. Really remarkable. There were no more injuries. Max.